He lived from 1845 to 1915, but something that happened 10 years ago in Springfield, Delaware County, will result in the canonization of Father Louis Guinella this Sunday at the Vatican. Action News reporter Kathy Gandolfo has that story. 30-year-old Bill Glisson was at work at his family's window and siding company today, but this Sunday he will be in St. Peter's Square for the canonization of Blessed Louis Guinella, who the church believes had a hand in Glisson's full recovery from a near-fatal skateboard accident in 2001. The prognosis was, was not good. They weren't sure whether or not I was going to survive, and if I did, they were pretty sure that there was going to be I may not walk, I might be some brain damage. I'm going to be a very proud father because the miracle is I did get him back So I thought I had lost him. Friends of Glisson's family prayed for the intercession of Don Guinella, an Italian priest who established two religious orders, the Servants of Charity and the Daughters of St. Mary of Providence. The Don Guinella village in Springfield is named for him. It's been home to mentally challenged men for over 50 years. Father Paul Ogioni says there is pride that his order's founder will be recognized as a saint because his work continues today, caring for the less fortunate. Mentally and physically disabled, homeless, orphans, uh, incurable. Bill Glisson admits he knew little about Don Guinella until his cure. He was back at work a few months after his accident with no ill effects. He says even one of his doctors believed there was something beyond medical science at work. He had already recognized it as it being a miracle before the church or anybody else had said it was. Bill has never been to Europe, but on Friday he, his wife, and family will embark on an extraordinary journey as Father Louis Guinella receives the highest honor of the Catholic Church. In Falcroft, I'm Kathy Gandalf for Channel 6 Action News.